And thanks for joining us on this Memorial Day. I'm Jessica Moore. I'm Reed Cowan and for Jim Snyder tonight. On this day that we honor those who served and died for our country, would you believe that some local vets have to drive more than an hour just to get an appointment for health care? It's our top story tonight at 11. News 3's Kelsey Thomas is live for us at the VA hospital in North Las Vegas. And Kelsey, that facility has been plagued with delay after delay. Yeah, and now these veterans are waiting for this clinic in Pahrump. It's been promised to them for years. Imagine this. Imagine you are driving, like you said, 150 miles round trip just to get to your medical appointment. On top of that, you have to make it weeks, sometimes months in advance. For these veterans, that is an outrageous reality. For Vietnam veteran Jerry Dumont. Oh, yeah, that's good. Photography is therapeutic. That is nice. Jerry is still coping with the haunting memories from the war. He's learning to gain new perspective through a camera lens. Things that happened that were very drastic and, and traumatic, yeah, that stays. We don't forget that stuff. As an Army machine gunner in Vietnam, Jerry faced death from both enemy fighters and their booby traps. I got shrapnel, the hot metal, you know, hitting the skin, and all of a, all of a sudden it started burning, you know, as, and saw the holes in my fatigue. Decades after he served, Jerry is fighting his own silent war. Right. He struggles with PTSD. PTSD. Most of his doctor's appointments require a 150-mile round trip to North Las Vegas and back. For our wounded warriors, a clinic in Pahrump appears to be a broken promise. Until we see the shovels breaking down, then we're going to say, yes, bring it on. The VA is broken. Nowhere is that more evident than this quiet, empty lot. After years of promises to build a new VA clinic, you can see there are no doctors, no waiting rooms, and no clinic. It's a frustration to me, and it's something that needs to be solved. Congressman Crescent Hardy isn't the first politician promising to find out what's behind the holdup. I want to know why. Why do we keep getting conflicting information? A VA spokesperson says the department anticipates it will award a contract by June. Veterans like Jerry won't give up hope that one day he will receive the medical care he was promised much closer to home. There's got to be a, a, a light at the end of the tunnel or a rainbow on, on the other hill, you know. And of course, June is only a few days away, but like Jerry said, until he sees those shovels go in the ground, he's going to have to keep driving here to North Las Vegas just for those simple doctor's appointments. Reporting live, Kelsey Thomas, News 3. We're all hoping that changes for our veterans very soon. Kelsey, thank you.